Hey everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life. Now, Animal Crossing New Horizons came out last year in, was it 2020? I forget. I forget. Time is just a concept anyways. What, what is time? But so that, that game came out basically when everybody needed it. You know, we were all stuck at home. We had nothing else to do. We, none of us had jobs. None of us had, had things to worry about in life. It's not entirely true, but but a lot of us we had a lot of us had free time. That's what I'm trying to say, and so we were able to sink tons and tons of time into Animal Crossing: New Horizons, and then the world ah, it, it didn't really get better, but the world changed, and some of us lost we lost interest in Animal Crossing: New Horizons because Nintendo stopped putting out big content packs and things like that. But now it's the year November of 2021, and Animal Crossing got a big update. And all of us are finally playing the game again. We're, we're being excited about it. We have all these things. And so to talk about it, I'm joined by the wonderful Kay Gray. Say hello. Hello. Hi. We. <laughs> you said so much stuff just then. Oh, I, I was the... trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the year November. Oh, did I say the year November? I meant... Uh, you, I meant... you said the year November I meant 2021. The, I meant the month 2021. Yeah, that's it's accurate, okay. Right? It's been a long year or month. Who knows? <laughs> it has. It has. So how's it going? Uh, pretty good. It's snowing for the first time in, well, not this year, but like this winter season, whatever you call it, in, in actual life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to um, ask, in Animal Crossing or real life? Yeah. Well, in Animal Crossing, okay, listen, I have a confession to make. Yesterday, I time traveled for the first <sighs> time ever because... Oh Somebody offered me my favorite villager. And since I'm on video, I can actually prove this. Marshall is my favorite. Look, look at him. He's on my hat. That's wonderful. I wear this. And the other bonus is that I actually, I keep some um, candy, as you would call it, some sweeties in my bag in case anybody ever points out that this is Marshall. No one's done it yet. No one's ever gone, oh my God, that's Marshall from Animal Crossing. They've just gone, oh, look, it's a little <laughs> bad. I'm like, he's actually like a squirrel or a chipmunk. So no. That's so sad um, because I have an Animal yeah. Crossing hoodie. I don't know if you've seen this before, but okay. it, it's embroidered as well. And it has Kid Cat on it. And Ooh. I don't have it around right now, but it, uh, but people recognize it all the time. Really? All the time. Okay. And I'm. this is not even me being like, <laughs> You know, like that's uh, you'll, your your moment with Marshall will come. Someone will. It will. And I, I, I have it's Smarties, but I know that Smarties are a different thing in America and they are not the Smarties from America. The Smarties, Smarties are, from the UK. Smarties are not like the little dusty candies that you always no. get for Halloween. They're more like M&Ms, but flat. I don't like that. <laughs> are there, they're chocolate? Uh, yeah, I mean, in the same way that like Hershey's is chocolate, it's mm. like chocolate, mm -hmm. chocolate adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I really want to, I like, I like our Smarties a lot, but I'll, I'll try them. We have I'll those try. too. They're just, they're called rockets in Canada what? and fizzes in the UK. Why, why do, yeah, why know. do things like this happen? Thankfully, everything in Animal Crossing, regardless of where you live, is called the same thing, I think. Well, actually, I guess that's Good not segue. true. That's not true. <laughs> if, you, if you're in Japan, uh, mm -hmm. Tom Nook maybe is not Tom Nook. And same with Isabel. Isabel is like, she's, she's just like a dog name. It's just like Shizu or something, I think. Oh, I see. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I, I was, this was a, it, it could have been a great segue, but it's terrible. So how have you, how have you been uh, enjoying life in Animal Crossing? Now that, now that the update is here and there's this endless amount of content to, to take part in. It's, it's been weird actually, because for the first time I'm playing Animal Crossing, uh, maybe not the first time. When New Leaf came out, I don't remember what year that was. So maybe I was already working in journalism, but this is the first time that I've ever had to mine Animal Crossing for content while I'm playing it. So I'm writing all these guides and at the same time, I'm trying to play it in a sensible way where I'm not like binging the content uh, in an unhealthy way. Um, and it's been kind of strange, but I think I am enjoying it uh, quite a lot, even though I have to play it for work. 
<laughs> and I, that, that was something I did a terrible job at um, at, at mentioning as well, by the way, is, uh, Kate, you work for Nintendo Life, right? You're just not oh, I do, on the yeah. video. Yeah, we I'm didn't so say sorry. That. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> said that you're she? wonderful. I think that was it. So <laughs> I, I am wonderful, but also I work here. You um, do. Not on the YouTube so much. I, I was in one video about how my Switch is in terrible condition, but yeah. I have a and, new Switch now. And so. you did the Animal Crossing uh, and Chill video as well. Uh, I did. Like I mean, I Alex did edited that. it, but uh, most of the footage was yours too, right? Like you're in the thumbnail. It was. You're Animal Crossing. Yeah, my character. my my little guy. That's me. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> so technically, even though this is my first time on video with my real face, it's not my first time on video. But That's you are true. getting like the premiere of my face on this mm, channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everyone, yeah, please exclusive. give Kate a warm welcome in the comments, because if you Thank don't, you. I'll, I'll. Yeah. Please be nice. Yeah, please. I wish please I could nice. say that in just like everything I ever write. Just like, hey, uh, <laughs> thank you for reading. And also, please be nice. Oh, boy. It's okay. It just takes... Uh, <laughs> eventually, the the jerks will weed themselves out, right? Mm. You would hope. But they yeah. never seem to get bored. So you've been having to write a lot of guides. Or I shouldn't say have been. You, you've you been writing lots of guides <laughs> for Nintendo Life uh, around Animal Crossing. How, how has that like changed your... Maybe this is like too early of a time to even ask this, but how have you been enjoying the content while writing the guides? Um, I've had to take it a different way than I normally would. And if anything, I'm playing it in a better way um, because I'm playing it in a very organic way rather than if I was playing it and I didn't do this for a job, I would, I would be binging it. I would be doing like eight hours a day, you know? Whereas now it's like, well, I have other responsibilities. So actually I'm going to do a little bit of Muse and then I'm going to come back to it and take some screenshots and then maybe I'll do something else for a little bit. And then I'll start taking notes about the things that I've noticed. And it's actually, it's been a really fun way of doing it, surprisingly. Um, sometimes I'll see other people's guides and I'll be like, oh, I haven't even seen that yet. But the good thing is that um, people data mine games all the time now, right? For sure, So yeah. I just look up, like, what have people data mined? And that's going to be better than any guide that I could have written, because I don't know, like, the percentage chances of getting a rare island. Like, I'm not going to work that out myself, but with data mines, I could be like, it's 22%. It is actually 22%. <laughs> so now you know. <laughs> that's one of those things, too, that... <clears throat> so I was doing... Animal Crossing guides for fishing for a while mm -hmm. last year and I wanted to just I just didn't want to do it anymore uh, because it, it was a lot of fun at first and I thought that I I think it's just because catching certain fish can be so difficult yeah. because the chances oh are so God, low yeah. uh, and uh. Uh, you get so far into it and you're like I can't stop now I have to mm -hmm. if I get the if I don't get the fish I'm a failure, and uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that there's not really any of that. There's um some new recipes, but you can't rush your way through finding the recipes, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, like yesterday I was on a cap and boat tour and I got the Star Island. Have you seen the Star Island yet? Mm -mm. No, I saw that you mentioned it, but That's I good. do not know what that yeah. what it meant. Um, so, like, spoilers for anybody who doesn't want to know about this. Sorry, late spoilers. I've already said what it's called. I don't know if um, I cover my ears, it's just, it just <laughs> intensifies your audio. <laughs> um, you, there's a bunch of different islands you can get, and some of them are seasonal, and one of those is the Star Island. You go to it, and it's nighttime. Even if it's daytime where you are on your wow. island, it, it will go to nighttime. There's a meteor shower. All the rocks have star fragments in them, like the actual seasonal ones. So it's like Virgo and Aries and all that. Um, the beach is covered in star fragments. The recipe in the bottle is one of Celeste's recipes. And it's also summer for some reason. So like all the fish and bugs are from summer. Some of them are also from the season you're currently in. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but like I was catching December fish because again, I time traveled. Oh, right, um, right. I was catching like December fish and then I was catching summer fish and I was like, what's going on? Um, so yeah, I, I had a bunch of the really rare fish that I didn't get last year, but catching fish, you get that like pressure of like, don't press A, don't press A. And they're like, ah, no. <laughs> and then it goes and you, you've messed it up. And now you'll never get that chance again because it's a really rare fish. And so I spent like two hours doing that last night. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't want to do that for work. Ugh. It's 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 un 
it's like we're trying to break the game in some ways, you know, like the game is designed so that way you don't catch like fish in particular, right? It's designed so that way you catch them over time and it's fun. But yes. but we as as real professional gamers, we love to uh, <laughs> we love to try and get there first, I suppose. We got it. We got to collect it all. I can't I can't play Animal Crossing for five years and try to catch these fish. I got to get them all now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, with guides as well, there is very much like a race uh, to get the first Google result. And sure. like, I, I'm pretty happy that I even taking it like kind of casually, I've managed to get enough guides on like the first three Google results. I don't usually care about that. I'm usually just like, I'm just writing stuff. <laughs> but now that I'm like doing Animal Crossing guides, I'm like, right, Gotta, gotta get that SEO. And you know, my Katrina guide, for example, is is doing pretty well. My gyroids guide is doing really well. This is really boring inside baseball talk. So I'm sorry if people like you, journalists, don't really <laughs> care, but it's thrilling for me. <laughs> well, so I guess that, that's this is probably a good segue to talk about some of the new stuff that's actually in the game. Uh, like, uh, yeah. so, the, so Katrina, like, uh, or even like Harv's Island has brought over tons of different, like, new, uh, elements into the game or even just things that we've seen in past Animal Crossing games. Is there anything on Harv's Island that you have enjoyed more? Like I, I personally still have not unlocked everything yet. So I don't okay. really know what the full offerings are. <laughs> yeah, I have unlocked everything because I went hard on the turnips back when oh, the game right, because it's came expensive out. to unlock everything. I'm almost out of money it already is. again. Uh, I I started um, when the update came out, I had 15 million and I'm down to 10 million. So that's like how much I've been spending on the new stuff, like the storage upgrades and yeah, all the Harv's Island stuff and like some other stuff. I forget what I've even spent my money on, which is a bad sign, but- um, At least so it's not real things. money. <laughs> it is to me. <laughs> um, I have to pay off my house with it. It's real. That's true. Uh, I have all the stuff on Harv's Island, and I didn't even time travel to get it. Um, I will only time travel for one thing, and that is Marshall. Um, and you've done it. Never again. I've done it. <laughs> Hold well, her to it. Well, someone else just offered me Lily, who's the other one that I have merch of, so maybe one more time. <laughs> but then never again. Never again. Okay, it's just Marshall and Lily, and that's it. We all have um, our excuses. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Or our, yeah. our, uh, our chances, the, the one shot that will, our exception. That's the word I'm yes. looking for. Jeez. Exactly. My exceptions, Marshall and Lily and no one else. And I will be responsible from now on or from when I get Lily from mm. then on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what was I saying? Uh, uh, oh, Harv's Har Har Island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Right. So I have actually been really enjoying Katrina. Um, even though I wrote the guide, so I know how it all works. Like I've seen all the data mine stuff and I know like the- The illusion is broken. Does. A little bit, yeah. Like I, I know the framework of, it's just like a, a die roll really, but um, you go there every morning. That's the best way to do it because her, her predictions affect what you like, how much money you get from digging up rocks and how much money you dig up from the glowing spots and like how much your villagers will like you on any given day. So you go to her first, she tells you your fortune for the day. And then that's going to make your day a little bit more exciting, like just a little bit. Um, I've actually been a little disappointed by Sahara and Kix because um, they sell rugs and shoes, but they only change what they sell once a week. So oh. it's not actually that much more. Um, it's okay. Uh, you still can't like buy things in bulk. So you have to talk to them for like 10 minutes to get everything that they sell. So, yeah. So it doesn't um, really feel like a quick visit to the island necessarily. And then like you, cause it would be nice to go mm -hmm. and like buy all of the things that you know you don't have. And then yeah. just run off right away after you talk to Katrina and check out Red or something like that and see what he has to offer. But yeah, so it's a saying, bit yeah. more like uh, taking things off the list again. Like, you know, currently, if you go into Nook's Cranny or the Able Sisters, you're like, OK, so I've got to get one of every color of this shoe that I really like. And I have to buy it one by one and I have to go into the fitting room and try on the shoe. And oh, take you're it right. Out. And it's so tedious. And it's a bit more like that. 
Um, Red's shop is okay though. Red's shop, he, he sells two pieces of art. If you buy one, he'll stock something else the next day. So there's like oh. an incentive to go there every day. Um, and then like you get a pretty good turnover because that way you get like what seven pieces of art a week. I don't know if he's close on the yeah. weekends. Uh, in that's comparison that, to the that'll help. <clears throat> the normal yeah. rate, yeah, that's pretty. That's so amazing. <laughs> when I did the yeah, froggy exactly. chair guide, I think I mm. I time traveled for that, and I so I apparently froggy chair was my rule, uh, <laughs> but or my exception that I I, I broke. Mm. But uh, but I yeah I time traveled for that, and I think I only encountered Red's boat two or three times maybe on the uh, on the entire during an entire thirty day haul. So it's that's good to, to know that you can get that much more art from him through that. Yeah. But I did learn, I think, from your guide that you don't have to go all the way to the beach to find out if he's there because he's on the map. Totally. I learned that. I didn't know that. That was a really good tip. Thank you. Awesome. Thank I'm you glad. for your froggy chair guide. Uh, I just got someone to give me a froggy chair, but then I, I sent could have it given to you a one at that point, I guess, too, right? But I'm glad. You probably that, could. Yeah. That was step one, though, right? Was find someone <laughs> yes. who does not have the froggy chair or who, who has it and just get it from yeah. them. Because that. <laughs> yep. It's a lot easier. And then you get to send it to friends. And then one of my friends sent me a video of he's got this little castle. And in the back of the castle, there's a huge throne. And he took down the throne and put the froggy chair in its place and was like, thanks, Kate. <laughs> felt so good that's great you really helped <laughs> yeah. or did you hurt i'll see if i can find the video for you and you can put it in and everyone yeah. can appreciate how great i am totally we'll slap right <laughs> here it'll go right here yeah look at that <laughs> so for me like when when the when the animal crossing direct was shown off and we we got like 20 minutes of all this stuff you know and happy home mm -hmm. paradise is that what it's called yes. i forget okay when that got announced i was like ah, i didn't really care for happy home designer and some of the mm -hmm. like i didn't have a written prediction list necessarily but a lot of the things i was expecting to get shown off in the direct did not happen and we got things like yeah. cooking and uh, of course, Brewster, that was expected uh, or that was already we already knew about that rather. But there were just a lot of things that I uh, I didn't see coming, but I also didn't really like want, I suppose. Uh, but now that I've hmm. played the game uh, with all of the updates and things, I feel a lot different about it. Like Happy Home Paradise, for example, I've had so much fun just playing and like because you get this pool I, I know you everything i say to you you already know this but uh <laughs> but, but uh but anyone who's listening and doesn't know you get this pool of of items to decorate someone a villager's home and it's it's really cool because like the game gives you lots of items that kind of are fit a theme but then as you build more decorate more rooms you all of those items that you got from before carry over correct is that is that true you can carry those items over into decorating future homes Yes, uh, future homes within Happy Home Paradise. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, it just you it, also I was... like, well, I, how spoilery do we want to get with this? What, we can steer clear of spoilers. I think. Well, I think just as I, most of the people that might be listening to this might already just even know everything. Because uh, later on, and this is obviously a spoiler, you can actually order everything that you've used in your Happy Home Paradise designs. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I won't tell you how. There we go. Keep some mysteries. <laughs> there we go. That's that. That would be like a thing. Nintendo should have put that in the direct. They'd be like, and by the way, one more thing is everything you use in this in this game, you can order it yeah. eventually. But we'll leave that for you to find out how. Or something. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo hire me to make your trailers. <laughs> exactly. There we go. I can edit them. Yeah. You can write them. Yeah. Sure. Long story short, I'm mm. impressed with the offerings that the DLC has given us so far, especially with Happy Home Paradise. It's been very, yeah. I'm surprised how much fun it is to just kick back and decorate someone's house and move on to the next one and decorate, you know, for them and, and take silly photos of them in the house. And uh, <laughs> I haven't yeah. messed with like uploading because you, you also have an, kind of like an account, right? Kind of like your, uh, like your um clothing decorating app don't you have something like that as yeah. well that you can you can share your home designs with people right it's it's somewhere in between like the home design thing wait no sorry the clothes design thing and the dream address like it's kind of in between um you can only visit like one house at a time obviously you can't like you can you can see that person's other designs but it's only the ones they've uploaded uh, I have only visited one other person's design, so I could take screenshots for some guide. I don't know. And uh, 
it was like a creepy clown house that they'd made for the the Easter Bunny, and it was horrible. And I haven't gone back, so I'm sure there's other good stuff out there, but I don't know. That <laughs> sounds terrible. So was that? Cause can you use amiibo to summon villagers into the the game to then design homes for them? Is that is that a thing? I don't have any amiibo, so I don't actually. None. Know. Oh and, like, no. And like people talk about it. I know. <clears throat> I technically have one that I got for my partner, which is the little eight bit link. I think. Oh, cool. Um, but it's still in the box, so we've never used it. <laughs> Um, mint in box, very important. Video games. It's probably not worth anything. Uh, you know, the worst thing is that uh, I reviewed Happy Home Designer back in the day. And as part of the review, they sent me amiibo cards. Oh. And this would have been like generation one. Sure. Or whatever sure. it is, series one. And I I lost them somehow. Oh, no. Well, I mean, you moved <laughs> like, around I, a lot, right? I think so. Exactly. I think I opened them and I was like, uh, no one's going to buy Amiibo cards. These seem like a waste of money. And I like, maybe I threw them away. I don't even Kate, remember. No, <laughs> you sound uh, like a parent throwing away their kids Pokemon uh, cards, know, but you did it to I yourself. I did it to myself. Like, I don't think I understood how they worked at the time. I was just like, mm, cards, no maybe, thanks. Do you think you would have put them in the box for a happy home designer or a new leaf even? That's a good question. Like I might have done. I've also misplaced a lot of my game boxes because mm. when I moved to, well, when I moved to London and then when I moved home and then when I moved to Canada, I put all my DS games in one box. So they're all in one box. And so I just brought one box with me everywhere. Cause I was you, like, this wait, is easier. When you, say, when you say one box, you mean like a cardboard, like a cardboard box? I mean, a, just like, a just... game box. I took all the cartridges and I put them in like, I think Link Between Worlds. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so I've got boxes. I just don't know where they are. That yeah. gives me all, like oh, that gives me so much anxiety. I know it gives me anxiety now. I'm like, what is wrong <laughs> with me? But hey, that was me like five, six years ago. I That's guess. like I've I'm done that before. Like where I've cracked open a box and there's like three other games in it, and they just yeah. I swear they fly up in the air. They're like trying to escape. They're like, get someone, get me out of here, put me back where I belong. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe one day when I'm allowed to go back to England, I'll find all my boxes and I'll unite them again. Perfect. It can be a, it can <sighs> be a video in itself. Kate rediscovers <laughs> all of her Animal Crossing amiibo. It's just me putting things in boxes and yeah. putting it away and closing a box and putting it on a shelf. It's just yeah, like sure, Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just like Animal Crossing. But real yeah. life. <laughs> but real life. I actually, to segue back to Animal Crossing, I've oh, been sure. finding... Um, inspired like i've been finding myself inspired by the animal crossing fashion um oh like i've been putting like, together like, outfits uh, you, that are interesting not this one this one's not interesting it's a t-shirt that, that was in the game but um <laughs> probably but like you know when you dress maybe you don't dress up a lot in animal crossing but i change my outfit every day so whoa <laughs> like, nice I'm coordinating like a ribbon in my hair and I've got like a little bag and maybe some accessory of some kind and my little glasses and my little socks. Um, and usually when I'm at home, I'm just like, I'm going to wear whatever takes the least effort to put on. Right. That um, sounds like so much effort in Animal Crossing even, but I guess maybe it's, it's maybe so it's not. Cute. And then now I can I can wear outfits that I'm just copying my Animal Crossing character because uh, the outfits are really sweet. Maybe not so much for people who don't wear dresses. Like I mostly wear dresses. The dresses in the game are really, really cute. Um, I very rarely wear like trousers in the game. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have hopes that someday I don't have any Animal Crossing screenshots on my phone, but pretend I do. I like I have yeah. hopes and dreams that someday you'll like walk into like a I don't know, a nice clothing store and be like, hey. Yeah. Or they'll be like, hey, can I can I help you find anything? And you just go. Do you do you have anything that'll make me look like this? And it'll be like your and you'll you'll just swipe and you'll have a oh. bunch of outfits of your Animal Crossing villager. Yeah. You're like, I'm anything that makes me look like this, please. I mean you could try. You there get are one some of the weirder outfits and be like, hell. Like the the cat suit or the hot dog, yeah. the hot dog Halloween costume. That's what I have. Yeah, I have all one. those saved to my wand for some reason. <laughs> I <course>. like <laughs> Yeah. I have an really outfit bad. called I didn't kill him, detective, and it's just like 
a big black floppy hat and sunglasses and a floor length black dress. And I'm just like, oh, no, me kill my husband. I would never. <laughs> I love that the, the emo or like the the, it, the title of whatever you call it is just it's just there. It's, yes. It becomes part of the outfit at that point. Yeah. Have you actually had anybody visit your island since the new update came out? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, I think our, our niece and nephew came over, but we didn't. We okay. just like ran around. I showed them I have a toilet hidden behind my museum. I showed oh. them that. Otherwise, we just like hung out and <laughs> we didn't do anything productive. Uh, yeah, because uh, a thing that I've discovered, because um, I wrote uh, like a 50 things you didn't know, and I'm still finding more. Sure. Sweet. Um, and one of them is that if you have the donation box in your town and somebody comes up, like a visitor, it has to be like not a villager, they won't do it. And they put in money into the donation box. It will tell you, it will act like they've said, I just donated some bells, even though they didn't say that. It will force them to say that. So you can't like secretly donate to anybody because it will announce it to the entire island. Wow. I still think that's really sweet, but yeah, like people were trying to anonymously donate money and it was just like, I just donated money. <laughs> Does it tell them how much they donate too? Or, or does it like announce that uh, no. on the? No, it's always a thousand. You, you mm, can't okay. do any more than that in one go, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's because most people like you know when like the turnip market was a really big deal and people would like charge actual money to um, get sure. an invite to their island. Uh, like people would leave tips of like a million bells. Uh, so it's kind of sad that like the donation box is limited to a thousand because yeah. that would have been a really easy way to handle that. But oh well. Are there other things yeah. in the update that you like wish were handled differently? I suppose as well, like because that's a great mm -hmm. idea or like a great example of something. Because I feel like yeah. I feel like there are it, it's hard for me to like pull the exact instance, but I feel like there are a lot of situations where. The Animal Crossing devs have listened to some fan feedback, but at the same time, we also don't still have like batch crafting, which yeah. I, I understand the the cons of that. You know, it, it could uh, someone could just craft thirty Manila clams in two seconds, and now I don't know, it yeah. it, it it makes the game easy easier, you know, too easy almost. But yeah, yeah, things that they could have handled better. Well, okay, first of all, I just want to give a shout out to the turbo button on my new controller because it makes batch crafting really easy. I'm just like holding down and it's like pew, 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 pew. That's I thought you were going to shout out a person. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a button. Thank you. It was a button. Yeah, yeah. I have a little turbo button. Uh, I got the, wait, I can show you because my Switch. Oh, right. right and, we have a, and we have a camera. Oh, Look at that. yeah. This is the Hori split pad. I bought this. Like, this isn't. This isn't sponsorship yeah. of any kind. I just, I wanted to be able to play something. And I, I wasn't um, completely enamored with it when it came because it's weirdly light uh, for a controller. I'm giving you like a mini review now, sorry, but it does have like a little turbo button on either side. So you can just uh, turbo the A button. It also makes uh, swimming is really fast. Oh, and, like, some sure. Other things I forget. But yeah, it's really good. But to answer your actual question, <laughs> what things could they have done better? I don't know because there's so many things. Like, what what do we have? Cooking, cooking mm -hmm. is good. I think they've done cooking really nicely. Um, there's like a wide range of dishes that you can cook, which I'm happy about. Um, let's see, gyroids. I wish there were more gyroids. Oh really? There's how many? How many are there? Roughly, I want to say like in total, if you count all the variants, because each one has like five or six different colors, it's something like 135. Wow. But, okay. Um, actual types, like the shapes, uh, it's it's like 26 or something. Oh, really? And and the sh the shapes, they even like the color variants probably still sound the same. Then yes, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just changes the literally. It's just the color. Like it, it doesn't make them into a different anything. It's just now it's pink. Um, they are Ooh. really good. I, I like that when you put them on the wall, they have a little shelf. Uh, but that's mm -hmm. not an answer to your question either. Really, uh, what else is new? Help, help me. It's tough. It's so. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that I don't like either, even though I did think that this discussion would be best if we talked about all the things we did like. But here, here we are. Here I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the roost is like, 
it's exactly what it was in New Leaf. But you can't I, do your job. So I don't like that you can't sit at the the reserved coffee tables in in there. Like I yeah. just wanted to hang out and take like a nice picture of myself in there or something. I don't even remember what I tried to do. It was I was trying to take something, and uh, and Brewster was just like, "Nah, man, that's that's reserved Not for seating." You. Yeah. And it's like, I what mean, do you mean, I have sat there. I've had coffee with friends and it's very, very, very cute. Have you tried it yet? I, uh, not with friends. I just did with Isabel one time. Yeah. That was it. Because when you do it with friends. just took a bunch of selfies. That's cute though. I haven't, I don't have any amoeba, so I can't do it with anybody. Oh, but no. I've done it with real people. Um, and basically you go in, you all sit down at the table. And then the last one to sit down, uh, Brewster goes, hey, hi, hello. Uh, who's going to pay? <laughs> Like, that's what he asks. That's and then awesome. you can be like, let me get the bill. Or you can say, we're going to split. <laughs> and so every time you'll, you know, I've only ever said I'll pay because it's like 800 belts. It's sure, fine. I can yeah. cover it. I have 10 million in the bank. Um, and then he'll be like, very well. And then he'll announce to the entire table who didn't hear any of the other stuff that I'm going to be paying. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah welcome. <laughs> And then he brings you coffee and you drink it together and it's really cute. Look, Animal Crossing is just let, letting all of us live out these like ritzy real world fantasies that we have oh, yeah. of. Because I mean, it's always nice to like pay for meals and things like that in real life. But then you have to deal with the burden of actually doing it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, yes. Animal Crossing, nah. <laughs> It's fine. It's cute, though. Like yeah. being like, hey, let me pay for like four cups of coffee. Like, oh. Okay. Oh, um, please, Kate, you did that for me? <laughs> Thank you. We ended up doing rounds. Like, you, rounds of coffee is not a thing because then you, you're just drinking four cups of coffee and that's a terrible idea. Yeah, but like, yeah. It, it ended up being like, oh, well, since you paid, I'll pay for the next one. And so we just, we got up and then we just sat back down and had another coffee. That's it's great. very weird. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Um, but there's what, no limit on how many coffees you can drink. What you could do then is because when you drink coffee, it, it gives you energy, right? To like go cut stuff down or does it not does do that it? like fruit? I don't remember. I thought I heard it did, but. It might just be takeout coffee. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. That sounds right. Actually, I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my thought with that though, which since I haven't actually like hung out with real people and drank coffee was the toilet that's behind my museum is perfectly placed. Cause then if everyone goes and drinks a yeah. bunch of coffee at Brewster's, then it's like, Go it's right. Coffee poops. It's right there. Yeah. But that's, that's a bummer that's to hear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I, did you play New Leaf? I did a lot. Okay. I loved New Leaf yeah, so much. Same. Cause the, the thing with the roost in New Leaf is that like, after a few coffees, Brewster's like, do you want to come be a barista? That's what he sounds like. He's like a New York guy. Wait, in New hey. Leaf, you can be a, a barista? You just said you played lots of it. I did. I don't remember that at all, though. I used to go there all the yeah. time. Do I have to yeah, Google this like, right oh, now? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't think I'm making it up. No, I, I believe you. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, no. I can't believe myself. Yeah, like people will come in, your villagers will come in because you'll work a shift, right? And a few villagers will come in one at a time and they'll say, hi, can I have coffee, please? And each of them has secret preferences. So they'll have a bean preference, a milk preference and a sugar preference. And you'll just have to work it out. So you'll be like, ah, you like Kilimanjaro beans, no milk and a lot of sugar. And they'll be like, hmm, wrong again. <laughs> they'll just leave and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> Uh, but if I... you do the shift, then you get beans. Like as a as a reward. you don't get paid. Mm. You just get beans. You just get paid in beans. Yes, but the better you do, the better the beans. Okay, okay. I guess maybe yeah. I just like maybe I was playing late at night one time. Brewster offered me a job, and I said sure, and then I forgot all about it. I don't know because <laughs> I just googled it, yeah. and it says after seven cups of coffee, he will ask you. And I've definitely yeah. done that. I absolutely. Mm. I've, I created a special walking path next to Brewster. Oh. The roost, the roost is right <laughs> above my my house in New Leaf. It's yeah. right. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump there. I'm so embarrassed. You should be. <laughs> so is is this? That's the best bit. <laughs> is the part time job feature is that back in New Horizons? 
Not to my knowledge, no. I think people I'm have enraged. played a lot of it and have not found it. So, like, people Darn. have been time traveling. And there's, like, rewards up until, like, 30-something cups of coffee. Okay. Uh, but none of them are the part-time job. But, you know, maybe. I don't I think mean, so, but maybe. Sure. Well, so Nintendo yeah. is, they've come out and said that I feel like a lot of people are getting worried about this. But Nintendo's come out and said that there's going to be no more big updates for the game. But it's like, yes. well, what, is, what does that mean? I yeah, mean, their specific wording was no more. Uh, this is the last major free update. And people are like, does that mean minor updates? Does that mean major paid update? And Nintendo's like, ah, stop asking. Yeah. <laughs> we can't tell you. Uh. <laughs> I, I would expect that it means like maybe some small seasonal updates. Like when they're like, oh, it's May Day. Here's a basket that you can get specifically for this. Oh uh, God, but... that <sighs> the the let us go see. By the way, was I, I think May Day was where we saw Rover, right? Was did he come mm -hmm. back for a day or the the uh, the the maze? Mm -hmm. And then he yeah, just I don't remember how long he's gone. He's gone again. Like yeah, yeah, it's that was a big thing that I was really hoping for from the the DLC was it was like oh, all right, we got it, we got to find Rover again. He's got to have a real <laughs> job now. And yeah. he's still just off seeing the world, I guess, living the life. I don't. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he was in one of Gulliver's shipwrecks, and he's actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was so his, grim. His seaplane oh. tur turns out his plane was making a water landing, but it wasn't a seaplane. <gasps> no, it, it went under. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my God. Well, hopefully we'll find out next May. I guess. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I miss him. I just wish Rover was back. Yeah. Oh, me too. Was there anything? I would like to see yeah. like more DLC though. Like it would be really nice to see. Like I imagine Happy Home Paradise took a long time to develop, and I don't really know if they're gonna do more of that. Sure. But like, I think they handled this DLC really well. Like a lot of DLC is terrible, but this was really good. Um, so I'd like more. <laughs> Just give me more. Just make yeah. a more game. I mean, there were there were there are plenty of like other things that they could throw out to us you know they could give us amiibo festival yeah. switch right like everybody would everybody would pay for that right yeah that's right? a game that right? i definitely remember existing all the time do uh. you is there anything that you wish would have you know like so for me like i really wish rover was here or even uh some there's more special characters that i wish we would have gotten yeah. in this game too but is, is there anything that you can think of that like you wish would have would have been in this dlc pack so here is how I've sort of been feeling about Animal Crossing New Horizons in general, is that it's a very good update of New Leaf. New Leaf was fantastic. It introduced a lot of really interesting stuff. Totally. Uh, New Horizons came out and it had like crafting and that was really cool uh, and terraforming and that was really cool and cooking and that's really cool. But aside from that, everything isn't new. Like, okay, CJ and Flick, new. Crafting, cooking, terraforming, those are all new. Uh, the museum is better, but it's not new. Uh, the roost is better, not new. You know, like we're getting a lot of content. I hate, sorry, using the word content, uh, content. Uh, we're getting a lot of stuff that we've seen before, but upgraded. And I, I don't want to complain about that. I love seeing what the museum is like now. Uh, but I just feel like there isn't a lot of new, new sure. stuff, like new characters, new buildings. Um, I think that's why I felt so deflated about Happy Home Paradise as well, is because it, it just felt like we yeah. had already had that game before. And now well, it's different. Most people but... didn't play Happy true. Home Paradise. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's that's just true. us. <laughs> I don't even think I, I think I got... <sighs> I was given it by someone who had a, yeah. they bought a 3DS and had a digital code and they gave it to me because they didn't want it. And then I never played it either. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, you're, you're right. Like it, it does feel like New Horizons is kind of getting a lot of the, a lot of the things it should have had at launch. Uh, and I don't, I don't think that's yeah. a bad thing to like have it now, but you're right. It does feel like there are just like beyond the terraforming and the fact that you can place mm -hmm. items in the overworld anywhere and um i don't what else is new uh, uh bridges making oh them, sure i think clothing's new. different right like yeah 
I, I don't want to sound like, oh, I, I don't want this new stuff. I want different new stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think this is really necessarily on Animal Crossing. I think this is like more a symptom of in the Wii U era and kind of the 3DS era, like gamers that aren't core gamers missed out on a lot of stuff. And now that we have the Switch and all the people from the Wii are coming back and being like, yay, Nintendo. It's almost like Nintendo are going, oh, all the stuff we made over the last five years, we've got to remake it so that these people can actually catch up. You know, like all the I, all the remakes we're getting. Yeah, you're like, right. Um, I'm just trying to think of all the stuff now. Skyward Sword. Uh, yeah, so many uh, like <laughs> so many Wii U titles have come over to Switch, and uh, yeah, it feels yeah. like we haven't gotten. Uh, John and Alex and I were kind of talking about this in a, a different discussion, but it feels like Nintendo isn't as weird as they were like in certain eras, and maybe it is because like you like you said, they're just trying to play catch up with uh, re-delivering these excellent games that they made and th- and things back to a new audience. Because you're right, nobody gave Happy Home Designer a chance, and I think it's just because. <laughs> It was like, who wants to pay thirty dollars for a game where I can't even live my own yeah. life? Like, I I already have New Leaf. You know, why would I? Why would I buy that? That's how I felt about it back then. But yeah, um, I think they've done a good job, like combining Animal Crossing and the Happy Home Designer stuff, because the appeal is designing other people's houses and your own. Like, it's weird to have one but not the other. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really cool to hear because I've I've only done maybe four or five homes de- decorating mm. in par- Happy Home Paradise so far. But it's cool to hear that the items that you use there, you'll eventually be able to acquire them for yourself. That's that's yeah. crucial. There's so much stuff that you unlock. Like if you're only on your fifth home, you've seen like a 20th of the content. Wow. Again, well, content that you're going to get just from designing homes. Mm-hmm. Um, it unlocks really slowly. And I think that's very clever because people do tend to like binge the Animal Crossing content, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm writing about this right now, but I, this piece will now be be out for several days, so you'll have to wait to hear the conclusion. But it it sort of stops you from like unhealthily binging the game to get all the content because it's like, no, you have to play this sensibly. <laughs> it's good. Right. Uh. Yeah, that was that was kind of a. I think putting in all of that, I think I have around two or 300 hours in New Horizons, which I know to some people is like, huh, that's yeah. pocket change. Uh, but yeah. I think part of me <laughs> didn't want to like fall back into that cycle either because mm-hmm. I I got my fill of Animal Crossing. It was it was fun again and I, I love the series, but like uh, I, I didn't want to fall back into that loop. But uh, But there is a lot of like really cool stuff here in this update that kind of... Like I still haven't even messed with cooking yet. I uh, I was trying to like pace myself and not unlock everything like all at once and and give it give it give each thing the time of day. Yeah. And uh, it, it I'm glad to hear that you think that they've they're trying to pace things out well. That's good. Yeah. Um, the cooking I will say is a little weird because there's only like six ingredients. So oh. They have to really simplify all of the recipes. Like all bread is flour. Um, the only vegetables are like tomatoes and potatoes and pumpkins. So everything involves one of them. Um, yeah, it's odd. Like those are the only foods that exist in Animal Crossing world. So you're saying you couldn't really take an (laughs) Animal Crossing recipe and learn how to make real world food based on it? Absolutely not. No. I mean, some of the, the recipes are like, take two potatoes and one carrot and voila, you've made a curry. And it's like, well, no. (laughs) <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good yeah it's so what, still fun yeah what what are what are all of the uses for cooking is it mostly just like a a thing to do is that um which i mean okay, i know that's the, the point uses. of animal crossing but <laughs> yeah. sorry good go ahead um so use number one there's now a bunch of diy recipes to learn for people who've kind of learned all the ones that already oh, exist mm-hmm. so that gives you something else to strive for uh, there are Nook Miles rewards as well uh, for cooking and for learning recipes, I think. The, uh, when you make the dishes, you can use them for decoration. You know, people in the past were having to use like 
just an entire fruit sure. or something else. I don't know. Um, but now you can be like, oh, this person's eating carrot soup and this person's eating a bread roll and this person has a tomato curry and it's going to make your builds look a lot more interesting. I'm calling them builds like it's Minecraft. Is it the si- uh, Yeah, and the Sims know. and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're right. Um, and you can give them as gifts. You can sell them. So if you catch a sea bass, it's going to cost like this much when you sell it but if you cook it maybe it'll sell for a little bit more maybe. really who knows i haven't tested that so i don't know um but like some dishes do sell for a little bit more i think like not a lot um and they also i don't think they stack so it's not really a good way to like clear out your inventory sure um, sure and you can i guess you can give them as gifts uh they fill up your stamina is it called stamina energy whatever it is Mm, mm -hmm, the thing mm -hmm. that helps you do things with trees yeah yeah uh because like eating a fruit will give you one but eating a meal will give you like five wow so yeah so those are all the uses uh (laughs) i don't even have a guide on this (laughs) i i wrote that was a guide that i wanted to make uh like before the update came out and then i was like i don't i don't want to do this yet (laughs) Uh, no there's so many recipes like we are still updating the recipe guide because there's so many and you only get like maybe one or two a day and that's it how how do you get new recipes uh okay i feel like (laughs) i'm giving you like a little you are uh, now now everyone's gonna be like zeon we already know all this shut up (laughs) No, it's good. Someone always learns from these things. So, okay. The ways you get recipes. Number one, the recipes that wash up in bottles on the beach sometimes contain cooking recipes. So that includes Mystery Islands, Your Own Island, the Happy Home Paradise Island will also have a bottle on it. Make sure you're finding that. And Cap'n's Boat Tours. All of those have bottles. Uh, Number two, Sometimes villagers will give you a recipe. Um, either they'll just be like walking around and maybe they can give you one, I forget. But if you go into their house, you know sometimes they'll be like bang, bang, bang and they'll be making something and you're like, what are you making? And they're like, an apple hat. And you're like, what? I need that, okay. I don't have one of those. <laughs> uh, sometimes they'll have a little kitchen and they'll have this little cast iron frying pan and they'll be like cooking. And you can go up to them and be like, what you cooking? And they'll say, you know, like, Pumpkin yaki, <laughs> I'll give you the recipe. Uh, and the third way is that, uh, this is spoilers again for the Happy Home Paradise expansion DLC pack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, later, you will get the opportunity to build a facility that will give you a recipe every day. I wow. won't tell you which one it is. And this is like on the on the Happy Home Paradise Island itself, like outside of the... Yes. I don't know if you've built the school yet, but that's the first facility. Nope. Okay. I'm so behind. You should, I think you're not too far off the school. Okay. So that's the first one. There's all these like empty houses Mm -hmm. you've probably seen around the island and like eventually you're going to turn them into something more attractive than an empty house. That's cool. Yeah. I wasn't sure if those were going to be reserved for permanent villagers or something like that. Mm -hmm. I I had no idea what that was, but yeah, that's cool. Well, now you know. I see. I and want each one to... of them gives you something if you go there every okay, day. Okay. Okay. So. See, I want to play New Horizons more. I want to be. I want to be doing that. But there's so many other games. So many I know. games. Um, I I think I briefly oh. mentioned that I I had a chat with some psychologists the other day about um, Animal Crossing. Both of them, yes. Oh, you both did. Both of them are, are gamers. Both of them play Animal Crossing, and I talked to both of them about like the very weird feeling of coming back to Animal Crossing after, for some of us, it's been like a year, maybe longer since we've played. And there's guilt, like, oh God, what have I missed out on? There's there's FOMO, there's um, like social comparison, seeing other people on Twitter and Instagram being like, I made a palace. And you're like, I live in a shack. Um, And how to sort of get back into the game without feeling all these negative feelings, how to like take it at your own pace, don't beat yourself up about it. And also don't feel guilty for like doing nothing because doing nothing is important. Look at me now I'm, I'm being all helpful. So positive. <laughs> yeah, which is to say like, don't feel bad about taking things at your own pace or for going and playing other games. Animal Crossing is not a race. It's not a sprint. 
It's just a game that was designed to be casual and then people turned it into a competition. So <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> What's well, tough, I think like, especially with the, uh, I think one reason I always feel like lacking in my island, mm -hmm. I suppose, is because of, I think the fact that furniture isn't always like easy to acquire. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's why I've been having so much fun with Happy Home Paradise is because you just get yeah. given this like big toolkit yeah. of items to decorate that's with great. and you don't have to worry about free. owning them or <laughs> you're right. Yes. And it's free. Yes. You could put yeah. as many creepy dolls in the corner of the room as you mm -hmm. want and you don't have to worry about yep. Yeah, or or expensive items or whatever. Because yeah, that, I think that's one of like... my my favorite things in in sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. My, one of my favorite things in the update is how many features they've added to help you ease back in. So like the Capin Islands are seasonal, so if you missed out on a bunch of bugs, you mm. just go to one of them and then you can okay, catch okay. up. Um, and yeah, like you say, it's much easier to buy furniture because Happy Home Paradise. I keep wanting to call it Happy Home Designer. They That's why every time I say name? the name, I just say, is that right? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I never can <laughs> trust in in myself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's it's been a lot easier to drop back in after a year. Uh, there's a weeding service as well. Oh, uh, for real? You go talk wow. to, to Leaf. Yeah, on Harv's Island, you talk to Leaf. And he's like, do you have weeds? I can sort you out. And uh, it costs a hundred thousand bells. Um so it's it's not it's not a good deal. Sure. <laughs> but if your island's really bad, then yeah, you can, you can That's do almost that. like I like the weeds. That's like yeah, me too. Uh, that the price <laughs> on that is almost like Nintendo knows. Like Yeah. Most players they've got enough money to shell out that it's they yes. can they can throw out a hundred thousand bells for for uh, for some weeding service. It's fine. They're rich yeah. anyways. <laughs> Only the rich are going to be paying yeah. to get their yards done. Basically, yeah. There's also like the cost of the the new storage expansions. It's like seven hundred thousand for the first one, and you can't get a Ugh. loan. You have to pay that in full <sighs> in one go. Yeah. And then the second one is nine hundred thousand. And I don't know if there's a third one, but if there is, it's really expensive, probably. Do you get those from resident services then as well? Like for just straight yeah. from Nook. Yep. Wow. No yeah. thanks. No bueno. But on the plus side, uh, once you've fully upgraded your house, you can change what it looks like on the outside for free. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you could do that every day just yeah. for fun. And I w would you do that? Or are you doing that? Do you change your house every day along with your outfit? I've, I've done it a couple of times. Um, it's just, it's kind of a pain to like, you go see Nook and he's like, what can I do? And you go, I changed my house. And he goes, what do you want to change? You go change the outside. Like, that's really boring. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing with Animal Crossing that I wish they'd improved is how long it takes to do everything. You know, like in the airport where you have to say, I want to fly, online play, a friend. And then he's like, let me think about it. Mm, okay. That's yeah. so dull. Anyway, um, what were we doing? about mm, yeah it's animal free. crossing right <laughs> yeah it's also cheaper to move villager homes it's now ten thousand bells oh okay instead of like thirty thousand i think so how have you are cheap how have you survived this whole time without amiibo like you can't you don't have the power to just <laughs> evict people to just kick them um, out you you can't do that yeah i wish that i did have amiibo uh i'm okay with just making do with the villagers I get, like randomly. And I was, I just, I only got 10 villagers a couple of weeks ago. Like before oh, wow. that, my village had just filled up very, very slowly because I was doing like Nook Mile tours and, you know, taking my time to pick a new villager. Sure, um, that's cool. I, I still had some terrible ones, but now I have 10 and now I'm obviously I'm time traveling a little bit, just a little bit. That's okay. In moderation, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, a responsible amount. <laughs> I was really worried. Uh, speaking of time traveling, our our niece and nephew they they play Animal Crossing quite a bit, yeah. and <clears throat> one of them, I think they when the, the day they visited my island a few weeks ago, the time was different, and uh, he asked me. He said, "Why is why was it why was it different? Like what?" And I yeah. did not want to tell him I was time traveling because I don't want him <laughs> to learn about the possibilities yeah. of this. But I understand. He's a kid. He watches the internet. He's gonna figure it out anyways. But I had to own up to my 
your bad problems. <laughs> yeah, I had, to, I had to tell him. I had to look him in the the oh. eyes on Google, on on iPhone FaceTime, and I had to go, mm -hmm. Griffin. I I traveled through time. I cheated. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then he went, oh, did you did you adjust them? did you adjust the clock in your switch? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh. It was well, so precious. But, mm, oh goodness, I think he's eight. Maybe that's he's old enough to now he's time traveling and it's your fault. But it's that's that's the thing is I don't I don't want that I I don't want to take the the blame for that I can't I can't do that it's yeah. a family account if he time travels they're they're all gonna time yeah. travel I, someone's gonna be mad and all the turnips will rot and it'll be your fault. Yeah yeah I I'm we're we want to give them amiibo cards for Christmas but I'm really that's worried cute. that if we give them a lot that one of the kids is gonna be like. Let's change our entire islands, all of our villagers, and kick out everyone's favorites. It's yeah. Not good. I don't know why I might we got get myself here. myself some amiibo cards. This, this chat has basically turned into Kate needs amiibo cards. Well, I have so. lots. I have lots of duplicates. So let me know if there's particular well. villagers you want. <laughs> Kate, have you not seen my... Hold on. I have it right here. <laughs> oh, you have so much of everything. Uh, that's known. me. <laughs> These are all... Uh, oh, Oh. I'll move the mic away for a sec. So they're all, they're all just, there they are. Is there an easy way to, hold on, let me do this. That's, that's still not good, but there's, um, I have almost a complete series two and series one. I think I'm missing one card. And then this is my series four binder. And, uh, and then I have, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this now. I have RV cards, a couple, and then I have the new set. Where's the new set? Where's the new set? There's the new set. <laughs> there oh, it you is. have Dom. Uh -huh. I love him. Which, which one? Dom, the sheep in the top left. Oh, yeah. He's, he's so cute. Yeah, you need Aww. any of these? Let me know. Um, Like, pretty much that entire page except Sherb is what I need. <laughs> Sorry. Except yeah. Sherb. I have Sherb. He's my boy. Him and Marshall. Oh, yeah. I still have not gotten Sasha, and I'm I'm about to blow a gasket. I've I've cracked, like, <laughs> six packs. Where mm. is Sasha? I, I need. What you need to do is do what I did and get the hat, and it will just <laughs> summon <laughs> good luck. That's little, a good point. Marshall. That's a good point. I do. I, we all need cool Animal Crossing merch like that in life, honestly. We do. We do. Have this I, have, is, it's unofficial merch. <laughs> hey, I mean, if Nintendo's not going to make it, what, what are we? We're sp just supposed to hang out with an Animal Crossing. Like e yeah. everything Nintendo makes has Tom Nook on it. Can you can you make something <sighs> different, please? Yeah. I, uh, Terrible. I ordered this from someone on Etsy. <gasps> Look. It's me now. <laughs> I think it would be a step too far if I got a Marshall pillow. Uh, I, know. I think, I don't know, because like I, I, I don't know how to say this. That sounded like a creep. Like I love him a little bit too much, not in like a creepy way. You respect him, just like, like if he were human, I'd be like blush. <laughs> but he's not he's an animal and it's a children's case so. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be like uh, i'm dying it doesn't have to be like a weird Ooh. pillow it just is just uh it's just i know uh, but people will assume <laughs> it's not a what what are the, i, I want to use the correct term a, it's not a body pillow if, if you got a body pillow i think that'd be a yeah <sighs> someone's got to sell those that's that's where that. this that's where this conversation is at now God, we've gone to some weird places. <laughs> so I guess this, this could we could probably sit and chat about Animal Crossing forever, and we we very we we just could we very much could as yeah. well. Yeah. But do you have any uh do you have anything else that you want to spill about the uh about the DLC or just or just Animal Crossing in general, the current state of the game, or what you've you know, and anything that I mean, I haven't really given you a lot of great talking points. I don't think. <laughs> You have. She's like, hey, oh, uh, tell me about uh, how do you cook? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've I've said this already on the site in my writing, uh, which you should which everyone check yes out. everyone should go read, please. <laughs> yeah, just just like look up my name and click on everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I've said this a lot, but I think I'm not gonna be like, oh, poor Nintendo, everyone's so mean to to Uncle Nintendo. Um. But generally, Nintendo gets like a lot of bad rap for like a lot of the things it does. And it's 
a lot of the time, really fair. I think that they really need praising for the way that this DLC and the the update have been handled. Like, okay, if if you want to get if you want to get cynical about it, you could be like, they should have added this earlier. Like, people were angry about Animal Crossing's lack of large updates for a long time, but for most players, I think releasing it all in one go has been the best way to do it. Like, I wasn't going to be tempted back with a bunch of small updates spaced out through a year. For me, it was like, hey, we added 100% more game. Do you want to come see it? And I'm like, obviously, yes. Um, and it, it feels almost like a new game. It feels like the, the first days of Animal Crossing again. And to be able to recreate that really warm, fuzzy feeling that I got from the game in, uh, you know, the first week of the pandemic, um, that's been really special. Like, I think this is one of the the biggest successes of updates and DLC that I've maybe ever seen. And I think that that's it's really cool. You know, <laughs> I ran out of good words towards the end there, but you know what I mean. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a good point, though. Like, <laughs> N- Nintendo, it. I think I agree with you that I think people are a little too harsh on the fact that the game didn't get everything that we wanted or needed from it in mm-hmm. the beginning. But it's still, like, that game, It, it Animal Crossing New Horizons still came at a time when we... It, it enriched our lives in so many ways, you know, like we, we yeah. you're right. We could sit and complain about it all day. And I am still I will forever be upset that Rover is not an integral part of the game. <laughs> but uh, but there are so many other things to be happy about. Uh, and it mm. it's tough. It's it's tough to not ignore. It, it's tough to ignore the downsides of 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 what we've been given uh, or what we haven't been given. But mm. but you're totally right. Like there's. There's there's so much that they did right here. They could have tried to charge us for more uh, than just the happy home paradise. And and I so many people are upset about the. Um, I'm probably gonna catch some flack in the comments for this just because nobody likes <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online. But I think Nintendo yeah. Switch Online the new update was handled fairly well, especially for people that have uh, a family account. You know, like I'm mm-hmm. I'm split on a family account with a couple friends, and so I basically pay like ten dollars a month. For my account yeah. and and it's really at the end of the day it's not it's not that bad it's not that bad but so thanks that's that's yeah. that's a good that's a good way to leave things be positive doing about this it. accent now <laughs> i don't know i don't know man Ooh. it's just weird i just hey, say Nintendo. things hey you did pretty good it's not too bad it could be better but animal it's, uh, it's crossing. pretty good yeah. animal crossing you know what i mean <laughs> did i ever tell you about uh back <clears throat> When Animal Crossing first came out on GameCube, I was in fifth grade and we used yeah. to pass, uh, there was this activity where we would pass this koosh ball. Do you remember what koosh balls were by chance? That does sound like a drugs thing, but it's, yeah, I do know. Oh, it, the little like <laughs> elastic band thing. Totally. Can, like, There's a bunch of strings. It? Yeah. yeah. So we, we would that pass guy. <laughs> that guy. We would pass, pass one of those around the classroom and yeah. whoever had it got to talk for like two minutes about whatever they wanted. And I have fond memories of often speaking about Animal Crossing and my villagers and things like that. And it's... Everyone's like, oh boy, zeon has got the ball again. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here talking about Cube and Kiki and Olivia. <laughs> these like cats and a penguin and how I got to He's play Zelda. He's talking about his made up penguin friends again. Oh my God. I wrote him a letter and he wrote Aww. me one back. And I, I took a picture <laughs> of it with my grandma's camera. Here it is, everybody. We're going to pass it around the class. No, no, I never did that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet there's probably somebody out there that remembers that. And is like, I hate that. I hated that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No, it's fine. I have good memories of it. And that's all that matters to me. So, yeah, I mean, you, you profited out of it. You now do this for a job. So you True. get to do that. And everybody has to listen to you right. and you get paid for doing it. So, you know, really you won. Everybody <laughs> might might secretly hate you. It worked out. But it's fine. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god, look at us. What what look is Look at us. Dang, Animal Crossing. I still get I don't know if you ever do this, but I've I've walked into Walmart before and seen like Animal Crossing kids clothes or yeah. like they have bedding for kids and I'm like, god, I would have killed someone for that when I was a kid. Yeah. You now kids are just Lucky they're getting children. respected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kids it's all right none of none of kids don't have cool martial hats or kid cat 
pillows. Yeah, I was gonna say you've you've literally got plushies sitting in the background there. You've you're right. You've done it. <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. No, nobody can tell me that that's that yeah. that's against the law. That's that's my choice. I love these plushies. All right, Kate. Well, I guess we've we've talked about Animal Crossing for probably about sixteen hours now. I think at this point. So uh, roughly, this, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot to cut up, and at the end of the day, everyone watching is probably only gonna have like half an hour an hour to watch you know we'll, we'll make it we'll make it concise as, as concise as possible but uh thank you thank you so much for for coming in uh and hanging out and chatting about animal crossing and getting to do it you know like with a video and everything it's so nice i know i have a face maybe people will be nicer to me now that they know I, what i look like i don't think so i hope so <laughs> i think what i'm expecting to see in the comments is a lot of um uh, why did Zeon shave and cut his hair? Because that's 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 what I get a lot these days. But I'll take that. I'll take that over some of the other things. That's fine. Yeah. Fine by me. But we'll do we'll do more of these chats. Uh, feel free. You know anyone who's who's watched who's made it all the way to the end of the video. Let us know in the comments down below anything else that you would love to hear us cover in the future. Let us know if there's a, a particular article that Kate has done that you've you've really you've really appreciated because you you you're a fantastic writer. You you're very you oh, you put your emotions. Stop into the into the the pieces very very well and so yeah i think uh yeah and if you ever want to hear some, kate speak about something drop it down below or go harass her on twitter don't harass no <laughs> I no. Want, <laughs> very nicely no no say uh kate i want you to talk about the game boy micro what do you think uh just yeah don't yes. don't do that don't do that don't do that well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, you can go ahead and um, uh, click the subscribe button with your favorite Animal Crossing pillow uh, because it's a nice plush thing to touch the screen with. And you, then you don't have to worry about breaking it or anything. That's how you subscribe. That's how you subscribe to Nintendo Life. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks uh, for, yeah, thanks, thanks for hanging out, Kate. Thank you. Let's do this again. All right. It's good. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what?